Hi everybody, this is Tanya Pizzolato of Shimmer and Tarot. Welcome to my channel. Let me face this down a little bit so you can see the decks better. There we go. We have a reading for you today. Singles, new love coming. So, we have three piles. So, take your time in picking your pile of what you want to watch. You know, you can choose by just something that calls out to you. You can meditate on it. You can choose by the deck. You can choose by the crystal. You can uh, just choose because something inside you is pulling you to it. The color, whatever. So we have pile number one with this lace agate with Druzy. So let me get this up close so you can see this. Just really beautiful. The light catches the druzy just beautiful. It's just this little hole and shows you the small little crystals in there. Gotta stop moving around. Let's see, does that help? Oh, that does help. So this is the lace agate. So this is also the uh, mystic palette. No, not the mystic, let me see. It is the mystic palette by Chiro Marchetti. Second pile is the gentle heart tarot by Vanessa Semina. And this is a petrified wood by that I got from Aqua, uh, Jennifer Aquarius 23. And she sent me these two other crystals that are just so beautiful. This uh, black tourmaline and this, uh, I think this is called an ammonite. So let me know. It's a fossil ammonite, I think. Isn't that just gorgeous? So these were these two things were freebies for ordering this beautiful petrified wood. So let me know what you think uh, if you know what this uh, stone is called. You know the snail. So I thought that's that just beautiful. And this is incredibly beautiful, this black tourmaline necklace. You can put on a pendant or a necklace and make it a pendant. And piled to number two, this is the golden tarot. Let's see if I can find the... <laughs> oh yeah, I dropped the breast. This is the golden tarot with the Amazonite fossil, Ammonite. I'm trying to get the name right. So take your time. You can pause the video right here if you like to choose what you would want to pick. And you'll know it's your deck because a lot will re uh, resonate with you and what you're looking for in a person what you want things to be like. What, what, yeah, what you're looking for. So I'm gonna just pull these two away and then we'll get to work. And if, you know, most of the uh, reading doesn't resonate for you, that means it was not the right reading for you. So you can always look at other, uh, Readings I have like this one in the that are older because these are like timeless readings. And uh, what else? Oh, subscribe to my channel because I'll let you know when I put out new videos. And uh, these are not personal readings, these are readings meant for everybody. So there's a lot of energy coming through for lots of different people. 
But if you do want a private reading with me, you can always contact me at my email address that I'll put in the description box. And uh, let's get started. So with the Mystic Palette here and the White Lace Agate with the Druzy, let's ring the bell, clear the energy, and call in the spirit guides. See, singles, what new love is coming? <laughs> These two cards wanted to come just right away. Ten of Cups. Ooh. This is a number one thing you get when you see the Ten of Cups of what's coming for you. is someone who's looking for a very serious relationship. They're ready to settle down. You know, they've uh, lived life. They've had their single time. You know, they've had fun experiences. And we've got the Page of Cups. So also, this person is very in touch with them. They're very intuitive. And while, you know, they have experienced their youthfulness and, and enjoyed it fully, they still have this youthful energy about them. You know, they still really enjoy life. They're not uh, just grumpy. This is someone with a very fun energy. And I see them writing you love letters. We've got the two of pentacles here. So this is someone who is uh, also learning to Handle everything in moderation, balance. You know, it looks like she's juggling these pentacles. But what it means, you know, with the pentacles, it's all about your, it's about health. It's about tangible things. Um, work, you know, exercise, being healthy and making sure those around you are taken care of, that you're giving them time of yourself. So this is a very incredible energy to have coming for new love. This is a person very serious, very dedicated to being healthy, happy, and sharing that with you. With still the youthful energy to them. Ten of Swords. They've been through their pain. They have, you know, they have experienced betrayal in love before. So they have dealt with this, you know. You know, they're over it. Every once in a while, you know, you'll see a little twinge of that come up. But they handle it right away, you know. Like, I, I know what this is. I know that's not here and now. The Fool, and they are ready. Okay, look at this. We've got the Fool. This is not the the Fool being trickery-like. trickery, trickery -like. This is the Fool. This is someone who is ready to take this journey of new love with you. I mean, we started out with cups. Cups are love, feelings, and the happy family here. You know, they are ready to settle down. And this youthful energy of the Page of Cups. So this is someone who's really happy and exciting to take this leap of faith of this relationship with you. And they have their loyal friend with them. You know, in the, in the card. The little pooch. So that also, you know, signifies they're a very loyal person too. Some more cards. Oh, three of cups. 
So this came out upright. So this is talking about happy friendships, you know. Maybe your friend sets you up with this person. This could be a possibility how you meet this person. Family and friends set you up with this person. Or maybe they don't even set you up, but, you know, they invite them to a party or something. That's how you get to meet this person. What is new love coming? Ah, <laughs> oh, the moon. The moon is a card that is represented by Pisces. We have our wild wolf here and our domesticated canine friend here. And this is all about the cycles of life. There's many cycles, you know, like the female cycles and the cycles in general, the moon phases, also about sometimes fear, you know, like especially with that ten of swords, you know, so that is could be a weakness, you know, in this person, but they have uh, dealt with it so much that you will not notice it much, like with other people. This uh, fear that they've experienced, which we all have experienced, crap happen in our lives. It's just the way it, life goes. You haven't lived it unless you experience the highs, the lows. So this is someone, you know, they have their things, you know. Those things that they would rather hide from, you know. But they will talk to you about them eventually. But that's not something you want to talk about in the right, real, right beginning, you know. We have two cards. The Queen of Wands. No, this is the Queen of Swords. I didn't realize that was metal. At first I was thinking it was wood. So this is a fierce person. Incredibly intelligent and quick-witted too. Fierce friend. They will always stick by you. But they don't like to, don't BS this person. They don't like it and they don't put up with it. So here we've got the Knight of uh, Wands. So this also is talking about there is a lot of lust between you. Between you two. This person has lived their time where they were the player. When they were, you know, but that is not now. But th this was something in their past. Which you, you're glad for that is something that they had and that they don't need it now. Because this is what they want. This is not what they want now. Because you want someone who has lived life, you know. Not someone who still has got so much to experience. How can they settle, someone like that settle down? You've got to live. Not always being wondering what you've missed out on. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune here. And this is talking more about the ups and downs of life that you will experience with this person. This is a real relationship. This is a real solid relationship that's coming for you. If you are ready for this, this is a, a solid, real relationship 
with all the ups and downs, all the love in the world, someone who's highly intuitive and in touch with their feelings and very domesticated at handling all the things you've got to handle, you know, between going to work and making sure you have time for the person you love, taking care of yourself, taking care of the home, uh, saving money for the family, has had some bad experiences in the life, open about what's happened, they're not hiding them, and they're ready to go on this journey of a lifetime of love with you. And here it was talking about, you know, more intuition and that it could be friends or family that you meet this person through. You know, you run into your family and they're with this person and that's how you meet them. Could be a party. Never, you know, I know people don't like to be fixed up, but, you know, blind dates by family or friends could sometimes, they can lead you to the right thing, the real thing. The one, you know. A lot of times they're bad because, you know, you've got to kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince or princess, your knight. That one person in shining armor for you. And this is a fierce person. So incredibly smart. Will be, you know, they're going to love you and they're going to be also your friend. Always. You know, there's nothing better than to be in love with someone and also have that person be your friend, best friend. You guys can share everything with each other. You know, and here's more about their past. Look, the, the past is lined up here telling you, yeah, they have experienced pain. Yes, they have experienced their time as a player and they enjoyed it, which you should. You know, we all have our time for that or, you know, called playing the field, whatever. It's fun. We all need that experience. And they are here for the long run to experience all the ups and downs of life with you. The good, the bad, all of it. They want it with you. And let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Oh, we've got the lovers. Check this out. So here we've got the lovers. So this is about talking about your twin flame, your soulmate. Look how the um, swans are making a heart with putting their noses together. This is such harmony. This is also Gemini is associated with this card. Yes, we've got all four sweets that have shown up here. But cups have shown up more. So this is definitely a lot of love and feelings here. Which is a beautiful thing. This person that's coming into your life is the person you choose. They have the values you have. Look, even their hat's making a heart sign. Three, this is just so beautiful too. This is at the bottom with this, the Empress. She is the ultimate mother nature, nurturing, creative, life-giving. So this, this um, person that's coming into your life is just having... This is a beautiful, beautiful relationship that's going to be very nurturing for both of you. Very loving, very caring, full of friendship between you two and passion and connected. They're very intuitive, so they're very connected into you. Oh, this is beautiful. 
We'll take a look at the Ten of Swords. Give you a little more idea what they experienced. So they were with, were with someone that, that they thought was the right person, you know, had the right traditions, the right beliefs as they did. But it was just a facade. It was not real, you know. It was just someone who wanted to be with them at the moment. but it, And they were playing at this, you know, not to be mean. They just wanted to be with the person at the time. But they didn't really have the same traditions and beliefs and religions. It, it, it really, all that didn't matter. The hermit and... And here, this is saying, yeah, they went, they retrieved inside to themselves to really look at themselves, you know, and how this affected them, your person. They spent the time they needed to look at things, talk things through with uh, someone like their priest, their counselor, their minister, their high priestess, whatever it is, you know. So this is someone who's worked, you know, deals with things. They don't just go get over it, you know, because doing that does not really help you get over things. You have to talk things through. Know what you should have uh, been paying attention for. You know, find that red flags that you knew in the beginning. You're like, something about that is bothering me. So you know, this is also helps you in life just discover, yes, my intuition works very well. This is what this was telling me. Listen to these signs in the when you experience them. So let's take a look at some oracles with this. So this is eye candy by v love and crystals you can find her on etsy also etsy is a great place to shop childhood So this is someone that is fun. You are going to have a lot of fun with this person in your life. You know, yeah, you're adults now, but they still have the young and the, the fascination in them in life. You know, they enjoy things so much. Heck, they might still like going to the zoo or whatever. Whatever, I love going to the zoo. Whatever it is, roller coasters. You know, they just, there's someone that you are going to have a lot of fun with. Not only a guy's falling, going to fall in love, you're going to have fun, friendship, everything. Careless. Yes. This is. This careless I'm getting here, this is a fun careless, you know. Doing fun things like making hot chocolate or Sundays together. Just these carefree, careless, and so if it's a mess, lick it off their chin. You know, it's just, this is the, the energy in this relationship that's coming for you, pile number one. It's beautiful energy, fun passionate, life-affirming, what life is meant to be, full of joy. Birth. So it looks like they're celebrating a birthday. It could also be 
celebrating having giving birth or creating a company together. So these are some of the experiences for pile number one. For some of you, you will have uh, children together and uh, have birthdays, you know, celebrate their birthdays, each other's birthdays. Pile one is going to be a, a couple that enjoys life and celebrates everything together. You guys just, you like, life is short. Let's enjoy while we can, you know. Prosperity and lots of prosperity. We had the two of pentacles underneath this. So prosperity coming for you guys. Or coming to you. So you guys manifesting this together. Surprises. Beautiful, happy surprises. You know, with the sprinkles. The, the sparklies. Life feels good with this person. The surprises are good surprises. This is also by uh, We Love Crystals. A few cards. And this is Lavender Dreams. Oh, so we got Road Trip, a metaphorical passage in life. Your life spiraling out of control. That's for when it comes out reverse. Your life is not spiraling out of control. This came out upright. And it's a metaphorical passage of li in life. So, you know, like I said before, you guys are going to experience everything together. And it's going to be happy. You know, even the bad things, you'll be there for each other. And that's what makes it happy, makes you safe, secure. You're there for each other to talk through these things, you know, the fears you have about it. Both of your fears. Balloon, inner child, festivities, and rising above it. Yes, there's a lot of this inner child, this, this youth will enjoy, you know, enjoying things at the moment, you know, and then rising above it to deal with your regular day, everyday lives too, you know, to handle things, to bring in the Prosperity that you guys manifest and bring into your lives. Pile one, the thing I'm getting most is you guys are a very healthy couple. This is a beautiful energy because you're both healthy. I'm getting this this uh, message from the Spirit also saying that both of you are healthy, coming together, ready to come together. A lot of times you can even meet your twin flame, but you're not healthy at the time. So it doesn't work out. Well, this one wants to come out. Kiss, harmony, bliss, and passion. Definitely. We also got the lovers here, which talks about harmony and bliss. And we had wands talking about the passion between you two, the chemistry. Off the charts. Feels good. Vampire, being drained of your time and energy. Sometimes you will feel like this, okay? Because this is life. Like I told you, 
here you you experience the ups and downs with something else over here that I told you that about too friendship feelings of love and closeness yes this is so beautiful pile number one we're going to take a look at the beneath the roses oracle some messages of what your person will be thinking and feeling. This is by Moon Moth Goddess. Taking just the first one. There's too many came. You make me feel safe, secure, and loved. Oh, I love that. A lot of times, you know, in relationships, we do need pers people, the person we're with, to also make sure that we do feel this way, you know? Because we're all human. We've all had experiences. And we need, you know, to we need transparency. We need to give transparency and receive transparency so that we know we're safe with this person. And we need them to always be like, you know, this is my person, you know, and them be proud to be with you. That's what it needs to be like. And this is what it's going to be like. Because a lot of times in relationships, people play games and make the person insecure about the security of the relationship. But not pile number one. You guys will not have that problem at all. You also both are coming in very healthy as individual people. So you know not to play those games. You know to be transparent with each other. I want to nurture your soul, your heart, and everything that's you. Another beautiful message. Yeah, there is just so much nurturing energy here with the, you know, empress and this. They want they want to nurture you, your soul, your heart, everything that is you. I see you everywhere I go. I miss you. It's like me and my husband, you know. We, we just see each other in our heads and we miss each other because, you know, sometimes he has to go out of town. A lot of times he has to go out of town to work. And we're on the phone a lot. And that's the way he should be, you know. Telling each other you miss each other. It's okay to be mushy with the one you love, Okay. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. And honor the, the way you feel. You are the last thing on my mind before I fall asleep. Oh. Just such beautiful, healthy energy here. I listen to music that reminds me of you. Yes, pile number one, you guys have it made. You have friendship, you have love, you have connection, you have shared beliefs, you have the, the fun of childhood, chemistry, love, intuition, 
and manifesting things together to bring you prosperity, working together, closeness. You guys are two whole complete people coming together. This is beautiful. So let's move on to number two. I hope, pile one, this helped you to know what's coming. And you'll know this is your person who's coming because this will be very um, easy. There's not going to be a lot of conflict when you guys meet. You're going to just know it. It might even scare you to just go, I know this is the one. You know, that's a kind of a freaky feeling. To just experience, this is the one. Why do I know this? But you will. And it can scare you. Scare the bejeebies out of you. It's just the way love works. So enjoy this person coming in your life pile one. We will move on to pile number two. Which is the gentle heart tarot. And the petrified wood. So let's ring the bell. Clear the energy and call in the spirit guides. So here's our petrified wood. So. That's your smudge coughing. Singles, pile number two, who is coming into your life? New love coming into your life. <coughs> who is coming? New love. Show us the new love that is coming into your life. The tower. So, this person who's coming has experienced a lot of craziness. Ah, for some reason, this is calling to me. Ace of Swords, yes. So, this person who's coming in your life has experienced a lot of chaos. And when you see the tower and you see the um, lightning, the lightning is about gaining clarity from all this chaotic energy and then also we got the ace of swords here saying get your person is coming into a place of clarity of mind and actually being able to communicate about this what they've experienced and to deal with this Show us more about this person coming into your life. Pile number two. Death. So, th this, um... Chaotic energy that your person has come from has um, brought clarity into the light, their life and um, a lot of transition and endings of things that don't work for your person, which is a good thing. It is good to look at these things that cause upheaval. A lot of times 
we don't like change in life, so we hold on to things, even if they're bad, because it's what we know. It's, it's our smelly old blanket that we're used to. But your person is ready and willing to, hey, this doesn't work for me. I'm ready to let go and experience change. I'm ready to let go of the things that are not good for me. Let go of the toxic things. And let change come in. And transform things into something beautiful. What is coming? Ace of Cups, new love. So look what, because this person was ready to, and able to let go of these things, bad habits and stuff, whatever, they're letting go of that smelly old blanket. They are ready to experience love. The Ace of Cups is heart full of love and they're ready to experience it. And the King of Crystals. So this King of Crystals is a person who's very stable, reliable. And just because it says king does not mean it has to be male. This, can pers this person can be any gender at any time. This is wh whoever they are. Just because it says king, don't take that literally as male. King only means power and security and steadiness. It's like a age. It could also mean age. It, you know, it means the authority you have in yourself too, which is great authority of yourself. And great respect you hold for yourself. many cars so let's see pile two six of diamonds Six is a very harmonious number. So this, the crystals was not the pentacles. This is wands. I've got to take a look. Because this is confusing me for a second. Sorry guys. A while since I used this deck. Yes, the diamonds is the pentacles. So cups is cups, swords is swords, and this is wands. So let's go back to this. So yes, still king gender does not mean a thing. This is a person very in control of themselves, very attractive. So this person who's coming into your life is very attractive. And you guys will have extreme chemistry, great chemistry that will feel good. And they're very mature. I mean, doesn't mean they have to be older. Could be, but they're mature in their 
look, their outward look towards love. You know, this is not the Knight of Pentacles who's a younger person and ready to, you know, experience lots of people. And this also here with the Six of Diamonds, which is the Pentacles, means this is going to be a relationship of give and take. Very healthy give and take. So this is a beautiful energy to have come into a relationship. You know, it it can be 50-50. It could be, you know, your person gives 10% in one area because they're not good at that. And you give 90. And then another area, they give 90 because they're good at it. And you only give 10% because you're not good at it. But it ends up being balanced 50-50. So don't look at it, you both have to be 50-50 at everything because you both, both have strengths and weaknesses and you're going to complement each other. You're going to just fit together beautifully. And this is a very healthy energy to have in your relationship that's coming. King of Diamonds. So here we got the King of Diamonds. So I guess I was feeling the King of Pentacles. So he, this is a person that is very serious and stable. Down to earth. Th this is what they want. They know what they want. And they know how to tell you. You know, not playing games. Very simply, they will tell you. You know, this is what I'm looking for. This is not going to be a person who plays games with you. They'll always be up front with you. And they're always able to, you know, they handle all the earthly things very well. You know, making money, saving it, the possessions, taking care of the things you already have. Providing for these things. Everything. Taking care of the health. <laughs> so we got two kings. So this person definitely has a very mature energy. They could even be a 20 year old and have this incredibly mature energy. And king of cups. Okay. Very mature energy. This is also saying... Not only has this person got this mature energy who's stable and great with the finances and the chemistry is incredible. This person is so emotionally available to you. Their, their heart is open to you. They're there to listen to you. They will listen without saying anything if that's what you want. And they will give you advice if you want. They're very healthy. These are some incredible energies coming through for you. Seven of crystals and they're great at, you know, telling people, hey, these are my boundaries. Do not cross them. You will always know their boundaries. They will not like expect you to just know them. They will let you know. And they will stand up for yours too. And they will help you to stand up for your, your own boundaries too. Knight of Swords. So this is a person who is very excited to show up in your life here. So when they, when you guys meet, they, they're going to be like right there. They're like, you're the one. I want to be with you. This person also has this energy, you know. 
even though they're very mature, they're like, I know you're the one. It just seems a little, you know, unlike them because they are very mature. But with you, they will like, hey, <laughs> they will, you know, let their guard down and be, hey, you're it. They, they want to be with you. This is a person who wants to be with you. Oh, <laughs> another king at the bottom of the deck, okay? We've got the king of swords. So, not only is this person, you, you've got all four kings here. This is an incredibly mature person who's got all four elements that are incredibly stable, well-developed. You're, you're meeting this person who's really well-developed into who they are. This is a person who knows who they are. They are very secure in their being. This is incredible. All, all four kings. They got them. This is very unusual that you're going to, you know, some, you meet someone who's very well developed in themselves. And they've experienced their devil, you know, they know, they have dealt with their devil. You know, the devil's, you know, about their bad habits, their um, insecurities, uh, egotism, vanity, addiction, you know, tox toxic relationships. They've dealt with all this. They've got it under control. They know who they are now. They, they don't have these problems. Now, they've dealt with it. You know, and they're not going to pick someone who's going to be bringing more of this. But I do want to take a look at the um, Knight of Swords. Get a little more clarity on the Knight of Swords. Just because it just seems so... Unlike this person. But, you know, I guess everybody's going to have moments where they just do something surprising, you know. Like, rush in. They know what they're looking for. Nine of Crystals. They've dealt with a lot of relationships in their lifetime already. So, they know what they don't like. So, and they know you're not that. And they got plenty of energy to be with you. You know, they, they've experienced the worst. The, uh, and they just know they got that you're the one they're supposed to be with. Seven of Diamonds. And this is a person. This person. Yes, they're going to rush in, but they're also going to work on the relationship with you. They are willing to put whatever work, all steps in, you know. Just because they're rushing in doesn't mean they, like, expect everything to be great all the time. They know there will be downs, there will be ups. Because remember, you got this person who's incredibly developed in who they are. they are. Very secure in themselves. So, you know, they will take all the steps, you know. They will water, fertilize this relationship. Take it to counseling, whatever. They, they do all the steps and they will do it with you. So let's uh, get some oracles. I 
find out more about this. You will flourish with the one you love. I love that, a cake with flowers. You will. You will develop even more. A lot of times relationships can help us learn so much about ourselves. Good, bad. But this is someone who's, you know, can be really there for you to help support you and nurture you. Be grateful for the one you love. You might think, that, you know, sometimes they will seem a little stale to you because, you know, they're very mature in their attitudes. But they're a really great person, very healthy. Don't be looking, borrowing trouble. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, you know, maybe you're used to having lots of chaos in relationships. Don't borrow that for this one. Laugh with the one you love. Yes. Enjoy things. Laugh. Have fun together. Don't think that because the person is so mature in their attitude that you can't have fun and that they won't enjoy childlike things. They will. This is a person who's incredibly secure in themselves. They're okay to let go, let down their hair. Support the one you love. Because they definitely support you. Come clean to the one you love. Yes, just be honest with this person. They will very much appreciate it. It's not a person who likes to play games. I candy commitment. Yes. This person definitely wants commitment with you. Death. I think we had the, yes, no, we had the devil. Okay. Do we have death? Yes, we had death. Talking about the things that they've experienced made you know all the things that made them ready to experience change and this relationship will be a big change for both of you from any other relationship you've ever had which will be a great thing sometimes it will make you uncomfortable because you you're not used to it you know we're used to things like that smelly old blanket could be totally bad for us, but we're used to it. Divination. So, talking about your intuition. So, or, or their intuition. They're very. They have good intuition. They also have the King of Cups, which is the intuition too. Freedom. A relationship like this that you've never experienced is going to be quite a bit of freedom for you. It's not unhealthy. It's not domineering. It's being at peace with one another and with yourself. This is a very freeing kind of relationship that you can commit to and be with. For your whole life if you want to. Fulfillment. And you will experience fulfillment. 
all your dreams will be fulfilled. You can work on your personal things and your person will be there to support you in them. And they will be the th things you dream have dreamt of too. I think you are beautiful. This is how your person is going to feel about you when they find you, when you guys meet. When you're together. I don't need attention from anyone else. I just want yours. This is great. I love that they don't need other people to flirt with them. They just need you to flirt with them. Your attention. Imagining a life without you scares me. I am not willing to give you up. So these are very nice and wonderful sentiments this person feels for you. You know, these are healthy, you know. Nothing is jumping out and being uh, unhealthy. Very healthy person. Very balanced. Wants the right things with you, you know? That you want from a person. That you've never experienced from a person. Our connection is deepening. I can feel it. Our connection feels familiar. Can you feel it too? So this might also have um, some a past life connection, you guys. So pile number two, this is your reading. I hope this has helped you. There's just beautiful feelings here. And past life connection too. So this person that you will be with is very healthy, very balanced. Experienced and dealt with a lot. Very openly and honestly. Not, you know, just try to hide it from th themselves. A lot of people hide from themselves. The things they've been through. Don't want to deal with it. But it keeps coming back to haunt them. So that was pile number two. We're going to go on to pile number three. Ring the bell. Clear the energy of the last readings. And bring in your spirit guides. And remember, tell me if, what the name of this is. I love it. It's so beautiful. I think it's a fossil ammonite. This is the golden tarot. For pile number three. Who is this new person coming into your life? 
pile one. New love coming into your life. Ten of Cups. So this is a person ready to settle down. The Ten of Cups is a happy family. And it is whatever your guy's idea of a happy family is. Traditionally, in the old days, the happy family was a mother, father, two point something children, and a dog. You know, basic happy family. But nowadays, it doesn't have to be that way. It can be same sex people, you can be opposite sex. It doesn't it just doesn't matter and you can have children or not have children your children could be animals not humans it doesn't have to be like it was in the old days this is your happiness your guys's happiness a happy idea of a family that they're com they're ready for I, it's really important to me to point that out. It's not the old ideas of what happy family is. Some people, just them. That is their idea of the happy family. And that's all right, too. It's being true to who you are. That is the perfect happy family. Nine of Wands. So here you see that this person's meeting up, you know, they've experienced and lived quite a life, you know, they lived, lived it. They have been living it and dealing with it. And along the way, they've gotten beat up a little bit, but they're still standing and recovering and ready to go. They got this they got the strong stuff that life is made of and they can deal with it. With this nine of wands. Knight of coins. Oh right. This knight of coins. Very much Taurus energy. This is a very slow energy. Very stubborn. This person that's coming into your life will always look at what is right for you, for them, for the whole family. They, they don't just think about themselves. And they also look at all the roads that they have, all the paths that have to be, that are available to choose from. And they pick the right one. And don't try to rush this person. Because you, you will just slow them down even more. They take their time when choosing, okay? So sometimes you might get a little frustrated with them, but this is who they are. This is their process, and they always choose right. You will always be happy. This is not a, pers a selfish person that you're going to be meeting. They are very caring They do think of themselves too, but they th think of you just as much. They, that is the kind of relationship this will be. Seven of coins. So here we have this person, you know, with this Taurus energy is going to be, they're going to be a hard worker. They will go to work. They will provide. And they will work on uh, your, the family issues or whatever that needs to be de dealt with. They will work with you. They are just very solid, dependable person that's coming into your life, okay? This is some really great energies here today. The 
They will not skip steps. They will be the, there for you through all the steps. The world. You are the whole world to them. You know, also they've experienced so much in relationships that this just feels like they've come to the full circle to this perfect, healthy relationship for them, for you. I also got another card. Ten of Coins. So this is also about family legacy. We have the perfect, happy family. This is, you know, a person who saves for the retirement, for your health insurance, for, you know, for you guys to have a year or two savings in case you would lose your jobs. So you wouldn't have a problem. This is, this is a person who really thinks ahead, okay? And you will be so glad for that in the future, you know? Because you'll always be happy. You'll have what you need. You know, you will not find yourself living paycheck to paycheck. This is an incredibly steady person, you know? Even if they inherit family money, they will put that into your savings, into your retirement account. They will not be like, ooh -hoo, free money, let's go play. No. This is a person who is going to handle things wisely. And they will discuss this with you. Maybe this will be a totally new way of thinking for you. But you will be very happy about that. Because you will have such incredible security. So he got the chariot here. This is a cancer energy. And um, this is very much about success. There's a lot of success here. You know, this this is a person who's going to be very successful at all they set out to do. All the planning, everything just falls into place. And the coins, the zodiac uh, for the coins is Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. And the cups is uh, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Wands, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. And then we got the Queen of Cups. So this person is incredibly nurturing too. Even though they have a lot of uh, earth energies with them, they're incredibly nurturing and intuitive with this, you know, just because it says queen, this person can be a male person coming into your life, but have this nurturing energy of taking care of you or nurturing you, nurturing the relationship. This is very beautiful energy of, of real love, healthy love. Doing what they feel is right and discussing things with you, you know. This is not putting their will on you at all. Five of coins. So sometimes your person is going to go off and isolate a little bit, okay? You might have to, you know, pull, help them pull them out of it a little bit. Because they're, they're always dealing with so much serious stuff. Six of Cups. So, 
definitely bring out the child side in this person of things they used to like doing. This is going to be fun for you and for them. I feel this, you know, like maybe even playing board games you played when you were a kid. You know, do these nostalgic things and enjoy each other's company. And, and lighten this person up, you know. This is a very serious person who's always dealing with what needs to be dealt with. What's on the bottom? Nine of Cups. They have been alone a long time. They are ready for this relationship not to be alone. They were content while they were alone. But they are ready to not be that Queen of Wands. They're ready to, to glow with you. Being with you is going to be a very big glow up for them. Not that that's what they're looking for, but you are just going to bring so much light to their life and enjoyment, happiness too, you know? You're going to bring a lot of, you know, you're going to lighten them up. Which they need, you know, where as they're going to help, you know, Maybe you be a little more serious, where, which is something you've needed or could have needed. I want to take a look at this um, five of coins. See if there's anything about this isolation that we need to look at. Because I'm definitely, you know, there's no need to isolate. Five of Wands, maybe you guys will have arguments and they'll want to isolate. Because, you know, arguments is not the same as fighting, okay? It's just disagreeing and talking. Not raising voices, not saying mean things. The tower. So, this is something that will need to be worked on. Learning to, you know, are you healthy, you know? And maybe taking a little time out, not time out from the relationship, you know, a half hour or something, you know, think, you know, think things through how you want to say things. You know, instead of you made me, you make me feel this. Is this what you meant? Because this is how I felt when you said that. You know, being honest, but not putting someone in charge of your feelings. Your feelings are your feelings. You know, and there's going to be ups and downs in relationships, you know. There's ups and downs in life. There And life is always going to be changing. We, we have no... Um, choice but to accept that is very healthy and very freeing and a lot of enlightenment but you guys will both have to learn to communicate a little bit better especially when there are things you you know changing because relationships never stay the same Take a look at the oracle cards. Crystal ball. Clear outlook on the future. Yes, things are looking good. Love potion. Love, attraction, sexual arousal. Poison. It's one of my favorite songs by Alice Cooper. And I just think his eyes look so gorgeous in that video. But this is a great thing to have, you know, 
sexual attraction and arousal for the person you love, for your person. These are things you want, and you want the clear outlook. Chocolate, celebration, love, and rewards. Celebrating love. It looks like it could even be a wedding cake. Finding someone that you can have a happy relationship is something to celebrate. Trash. Unwanted happy habits and feelings. We all want, we all want to get rid of those. But you guys can, you know, deal with these things together. Lavender, serenity, grace, and femininity. So, you know, this is a great thing. You know, maybe put some lavender in the pillows, you know, to promote uh, serenity, tranquility. Help, you know, with letting go of these unwanted habits and stuff. Eye candy. Staycation. Maybe you have your vacation sometimes at home. It, it can be very peaceful and wonderful. Really enjoyable. Me and my husband like that. Twisted. Maybe you guys have a twisted sense of humor that you guys enjoy very much. And guess what? That's great. You don't have to have the same sense of humor as everybody else in the world. It's all right. Be yourself. Makes people way more interesting. Surprises. Fun surprises. Getting to know each other is a surprise. And happy. Spring. Like this little chick cup. You'd be feeling very invigorated by each other. Dissolve. Dissolve any issues you have. You'll learn how to handle these things very easily. There's a lot of very healthy, happy energy here. And, you know, there's some serious issues, but you guys can deal with these. You just... Be honest and learn to communicate without pointing fingers, without putting your problems on someone, just saying, this is how I felt when I heard this. I don't know if that's not what you meant. Take a class in interpersonal communications. I cherish every moment I spend with you. These are beautiful f feelings that your person is going to be feeling about you. When you come together. I'm re already thinking about our future together. So, you guys meet. They're going to be thinking about it. Remember, you guys uh, met, and he or are, are, your person has spent a lot of time on their own already. My feelings for you are stronger than you realize. I think that's really saying that they're stronger than your person realized. Mm -hmm. 
You are the only love I've truly ever known. This is beautiful feelings that your person will be having for you. You make me feel safe, secure, and loved. So pile three, I hope you enjoyed this reading. That this helps you know what lo new love is coming into your life. And that you enjoy it. And that it feels great. Because this is a person who is really ready to have a solid relationship with you. A secure one. And not play games. This is not a relationship of game playing. This is a mature relationship. Of sharing your real loving feelings and working together. And remember, this is a someone who will be very slow moving and making choices, okay? It's important to honor and respect that. This is who the person is. And they will be thinking and looking at all choices and choosing what's right for you and them, what's best for your whole family. They don't think just about themselves. Don't rush them because that will just slow them down. This person is ready. They have spent their time by themselves and they are ready to be in this relationship. So I hope this helped you, pile number three. So take care of yourselves and take care of your families. Nurture yourself. Nurture your person when they come into your life. And nurture your families that you have now too. So give this a thumbs up so that they... Uh, oh, and subscribe so they tell you when the videos come out. And I'm sending you all lots of love, kisses, many kisses, and many blessings to all of you. I hope everything is wonderful for you and your families. Take care. Bye, everybody.